the environmental and social destruction caused by dams worldwide has helped create a growing global movement in defense of the world's rivers. From India, where people have stood in rising waters, preferring to drown rather than face eviction. To Brazil, where a national movement has asserted the rights of the dam-affected communities. To Thailand, where villagers affected by Pakmun Dam have waged a 10-year struggle to open the dam gates and restore the river's fisheries. It's been the riverine communities who have led the fight. Permitir la construcción de las represas significa como perder parte del corazón del pueblo lenca porque significa perder la estructura comunitaria ancestral del pueblo lenca, su historia, su memoria histórica colectiva. También eh, se perdería la biodiversidad de nuestra zona, se perdería la libertad de los ríos y además también estaríamos perdiendo el agua como un bien, como un elemento fundamental, esencial para la vida. In November 2003, the Rossi Salai community, itself impacted by a dam, prepared to welcome more than 300 dam activists from over 60 countries to the second international meeting of dam-affected people and their allies, Rivers for Life. I hope uh, this is a good opportunity that people can learn each other sharing their experience and then they will have their, their knowledge and they can and hope and then when they go back to their homeland they will uh, continue their fighting against them and protect the right of local people who are affected by them. It was an opportunity to evaluate the movement's effectiveness, to define strategies for future actions, and to be inspired by others' struggles and successes since the first meeting of dam-affected people in 1997 in Curitiba, Brazil. Josivaldo de Oliveira, from Brazil's Movement of Dam-Affected People, hosts of the Curitiba meeting, welcomed participants to the Rivers for Life conference on a hopeful note. In this sense, we managed to advance a lot to the point that where the most simple people are in the field, and especially on the side of the river, on the side of the river. And we managed, many times, I am the one, to transform the agricultor simple, the Capina Rossa, but today we have many agricultors and agricultors in the fight with the conscience of the political. Time has come. Now, when the, world the Rivers for Life meeting drew seasoned dam fighters like Meda Patkar, who helped launch India's inspirational people's movement to stop dams in the Narmada Valley. Not just dams, but dams as symbols of a development paradigm. And also newcomers to the anti-dams movement, like Berta Cáceres, a Lenka indigenous woman from Honduras. The meeting gave Berta and others newly confronting plans for dams in their communities a chance to learn from more experienced colleagues and to acquire the tools needed to successfully fight dams. But we would like to do it in a way which really tries to answer very basic questions. This is not a workshop for experts. In a workshop on the economics of large dams, presenters explained how dams had performed badly and failed to deliver their projected benefits. Seventy-five percent of those dams cost in excess of the budget. So that means to say they were more expensive to build than the planners had originally stated and told governments and told economic ministries and so on. That's an important argument. Ya no solo interesa las represas a los inversionistas de 
para ganar ganancias por generación de energía, sino que también a las industrias maquileras, a la industria del turismo, incluso a las grandes empresas eh, industriales de la agroindustria. As is the case in many projects, the power, the electricity, is not mainly for consumers, I mean, for individual consumers, for households. If the project does not make economic sense, the government will have to subsidize the electricity for these, for these consumers. The World Commission on Dams, an independent body, found that dams had displaced 40 to 80 million people worldwide. Understanding the problems that indigenous peoples have had with dams and also part of the work that the WCD did was to actually confirm that indigenous peoples have been disproportionately affected. The Rivers for Life meeting brought together indigenous people impacted by dams from many countries. तो वो बोलेंगे कि हम आदिवासियों को ये देंगे वो देंगे सब कुछ देंगे जैसे कि सरदार सरोवर बना तो बोले कि हम जमीन देंगे हम उनको घर बना के देंगे मुफ्त में सब कुछ देंगे ये वो सब देंगे लोग ना चाहिए लोग फेदा काम वो ना लगा दें इन पहाड़ों वालों इन फोटोज़ ने दिया मुसो हम मॉले बतवा हम आदम हो ना कंसरेले बतवान से बाल मगाओ हाँ होलो चलो पड़ी उन क्रेव के इस इम्पोर्टेंट एल फोर्टालेसिमेंटो दे � que han padecido los pueblos indígenas como testimonio y denuncia. Formal workshops were only one way for participants to learn from each other. An informal community fair gave everyone a chance to talk about their work one-on-one. -on -one. But the industrial zones are located here and one in here. So the, the people at the dam affected communities are saying no, that they won't be benefiting from the water rules or the hydro. Rather, they're for the industrial zones, which are incidentally foreign owned. Mm. So where, are, where were these, these people that are affected by these dams located uh, in terms of resettlement? No mm. plans yet. No plans. So no they have to yet. go for, for, yes. from that. Yes, and that's, uh, that's about 10,000 people, both from the indigenous peoples and among the peasant communities. Okay. No, no Many dam affected communities are fighting for reparations or retroactive compensation for past damages to their lives and livelihoods. Question of reparations for the Tonga people in Kore Kore who were resettled when Kariba Dam was constructed. Uh, presently, there is the program is still at a research stage to inquire into the historic socio-economic uh, impact of the resettlement and also the um, legal aspects of the resettlement, whether the people will be entitled at law to recover compensation and if so, against whom and what amount. The Moon River played a central role throughout the meeting. The people of Rasi Salai arranged for Rivers for Life delegates to visit the dam they had fought during many years of mobilizations and protests. This is a Moon River, this one. Hello. Moon River. <laughs>